Hello my dear students, in this fully animated lecture, you will learn about ionic compounds. An ionic compound is made up of ions, positively charged cations and negatively charged anions. These ions are held together by electrostatic forces, creating a strong bond known as ionic bond. Ionic compounds are made up of metals and non-metals. Metals are electropositive elements, while non-metals are electronegative elements. Now let's discuss some properties of ionic compounds. Ionic compounds are mostly crystalline solids. Why are they crystalline solids? When positive and negative ions come together, they arrange themselves in a regular, repeating pattern called crystal lattice. This lattice structure gives ionic compounds their characteristic shape and makes them solid at room temperature. Ionic compounds are soluble in polar solvents like water but they are insoluble in organic solvents. Why are these compounds soluble in water? Well, water is a polar molecule, meaning it has a partial positive charge on one end, and a partial negative charge on the other, so the positive and negative ions of ionic compounds are attracted to the opposite charges on the water molecule. This breaks apart the ionic compound and allows it to dissolve in the water. Ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points. For example, sodium chloride, which is also known as stable salt, has melting point 800 degrees Celsius and a boiling point 1413 degrees Celsius. So why do these compounds have such high melting and boiling points? Well, it's because of those strong electrostatic forces of attraction between the oppositely charged ions. These forces are so strong that a great amount of energy is required to break these forces. Ionic compounds do not conduct electricity in solid state, but they are good conductors in solution and in molten form. In the solid state, ionic compounds have a fixed structure, and the ions are held together by strong electrostatic forces. These forces make it difficult for the ions to move freely and carry electrical charge. However, when we dissolve ionic compounds in water or melt, these forces weaken and allow the ions to move freely. This movement of ions makes them good conductors. Let me tell you some examples of ionic compounds and uses in our daily lives. One of the most common ionic compounds is sodium chloride, which is commonly known as table salt and is used for flavoring our food. Another ionic compound that we use is calcium carbonate, commonly known as limestone. It's used as chalk and in construction materials like cement. Another ionic compound sodium fluoride that is used in toothpastes and helps to prevent tooth decay. Let's summarize the whole concept. An ionic compound is made up of ions, positively charged cations and negatively charged anions. Ionic compounds are mostly crystalline solids. Ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points. Ionic compounds are soluble in polar solvents like water, but they are insoluble in organic solvents. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.